the Galapagos Islands, a world heritage site and home to species that cannot be found anywhere else on Earth. This is where Charles Darwin arrived on board the HMS Beagle, laying the foundation for his On the Origin of Species. These islands of biodiversity that first attracted Charles Darwin to its volcanic shores are now a magnet for those who seek to plunder paradise. In 2017, a Chinese-flagged refrigerated cargo vessel, or reefer, was arrested in the Galapagos Marine Reserve with 6,000 dead sharks in their morgue-like frozen hold. As populations of large predator fish like sharks and tuna have fallen by 90% in just the past 50 years, industrial fishing operators are now setting their sight on squid, a major food source for endangered sea creatures, but also species for which the conservation status is unknown. In 2020, significant media attention was generated when over 300 Chinese squid jiggers appeared on the border of Ecuadorian waters that contain the Galapagos Marine Reserve. Their bright fishing lights could be seen from space, like the lights of a city in a desert at night. Communities in the Galapagos Islands called on Sea Shepherd to intercept the Chinese squid fleet to investigate and document what they were doing. That's why we're here. One lone conservation vessel surrounded by hundreds of squid jiggers. The only sheriff in town amid a fishing fleet full of shady operators that light up the night sky in every cardinal direction. All around us, we have vessels owned by companies with a history of illegal fishing, including the company that owned the reefer that was busted in the Galapagos Marine Reserve. Operators with vessels busted or arrested in the waters of South Africa, Indonesia, Peru, and Argentina. There are even vessels that are accused of forced labor practices like debt bondage. The manipulation of electronic identities runs rampant across the fleet, especially on the border lines of prohibited areas. Vessels transmit fake positions, suggesting that they are actually fishing elsewhere, or they steal the identities of cargo vessels, tugs, search and rescue aircraft, even law enforcement vessels. They even share electronic identities between themselves, the digital equivalent of pressing their own identical license plates. And waiting offshore to refuel these squid jiggers are oil companies accused of violating UN sanctions on North Korea. The Sea Shepherd vessel, Ocean Warrior, is going to shine a searchlight on these shady operators lighting up their criminal operations to the world, exposing any attempt to thwart law enforcement efforts and ready to stand our ground to defend critical marine ecosystems like the Galapagos Islands.